hello everyone hope you guys be fine and doing well again this is me Sora with new class of CCNN so hope you guys be fine and today we are going to start the routing section the routing section so yeah guys and if you guys have any doubt question suggestion kindly contact us through our social media it can be our Facebook it can be our YouTube channel or you can send us message via this email below so yeah guys let's start what we have for today so uh, what topics we are going to cover for today the topics which we are going to cover for today is how router looks how router looks what is a router what is inside the router so inside the router what are the staffs we can see that types of ports in router how many types of ports are available in the router types of memory in router so these are we can see the topics which we are going to cover by today so yeah guys <coughs> let's get started so how router looks so mostly a router look like this this is the front this is the back side or maybe we can see some routers are like this some router are like this so mostly a router look like this this or we can say that this side you can see like this this is how the router looks and you can see that on these are the symbols these are the symbols mostly we can say that this is the symbols for wireless router this is the symbol for wired router for wired router this is the symbol how this so it's like we can say a circle stuff with four arrows with four arrows this are the symbol or we can say icon of the router icon of the router or some people call symbol of the router like this so now you guys understand that how a router look like it's just a physical device it is just a physical device so now let's move to the next what we have so in here we have that about more detail about the router what's the router simple it is a networking device it is what it is a networking device it means it's a physical device which we are using in networking <coughs> so it operates in which layer in networking layer it works in networking layer so suppose we have physical layer we have data link layer and we have network layer and we have transport layer and others so now router is working in this layer in network layer of osi network layer what is the main job what is the main job the main goal of the router it join different networks it join what different networks so now look guys we have three different networks 192.168 1.0 2.0 so how many we have three different networks to join these three different networks we need router suppose if i want to connect this network to this network I cannot put switch because switch cannot join different networks. I cannot put hub. I cannot put bridge. So what I have to do? Obviously, I have to put the router. Router is the one that it can join different networks. Or in here also. Now you can see there are different networks. What I have to put? I have to put a router to join these three, join these different networks together. So simple, guys. It's a networking device. It operates in networking layer and the goal of the router is to join different networks to join what different networks so yeah guys let's move to the next one we have so the next we are going to talk about what is inside the router or what are inside the router what are the staffs things factors are available inside the router so this is the uh, motherboard of the router so we have cpu this is the cpu these are the lights led lights it has ram memory rom memory this is the power supply 
this is it has the LAN ports, it has the WAN ports, isolation uh, transformers, and some other stuffs are there. This is what are inside of that. So in here we can say that uh, no need to know all this stuff because this all belong to hardware, but it is just only we can say that I'll show that what are inside this. Inside, there's also now you can see that it's a motherboard, lights are there, memories are there, ports are there, power supplies are there, CPUs are there. So this is how we can say if you open the router, you can see all those stuffs which are available on your router. So yeah, let's move next, next what do we have. So now we're going to talk about the types of ports in a router. Types of ports on the router. Yes, types of ports. What is ports? Ports is we can support as a hole that you're going to insert something. That is called port. That's called port. So we have console port, we have auxiliary port, we have serial port and we have LAN port. So these are our four ports which are available in the, on your router. So the first one is console port. Now you can see this part is called console port, which is RG45. And what is this part used? This part using to configure the router. So now in here what you have to do, this is console. You're connecting one computer to this port. And you're configuring the router via this computer via this computer so this is called console port so we use console port to configure the router to configure that the router look guys uh, you have to connect via computer to this one because computer has a keyboard that by help of keyboard you can configure this one and otherwise you cannot configure the router because it's just a device it doesn't have any keyboard nothing so via computer you have to connect then via computer you have to configure the router then we have auxiliary port so this is called auxiliary port same so in auxiliary port mostly they're going to put a modem yes they're going to configure this one remotely suppose um, uh, if uh, this router is in US and I am in Japan so via this auxiliary port I'm going to configure this one and it is very old technologies. Now people are using Telnet and SSH, but before Telnet and SSH, they are using the auxiliary port for remote configuration. So console and auxiliary, they are using to configure the router. Console is when you are directly connected, auxiliary when you are remotely connected. Then we have serial ports. Now you guys, these ports are called serial ports. This one, this one. It has a serial connectors. These are called serial ports. And here you can connect routers here. Another router. Another router you are going to connect this one. Another, so you bring one serial cable and you connect one router to another router. Then we have LAN ports. We have LAN ports. So this is called LAN port. Fast Ethernet. Fast standard. So in here, in, uh, in this port you can connect computers, you can connect, we can set printers, you can connect switches, some others. And this switch, you can see that one. From here, we can say on, off. One means on, zero means off, off. And here is the power supply, we can say a cable. You're connecting the power supply cable and here is, you're connecting for the power supply connection power supply connection. So simple guys, these are the types of ports which we studied. So console ports to configure the router. Auxiliary port, it's also used to configure the router but remotely. Serial port to connect different networks. So mostly in serial port we connect, we can say routers. LAN ports, mostly you connect PC, computers, printers, uh, switches in here. So these are we can say the types of ports we can say which are available in your router, in your router. So let's move to the next what we have. So simple guys, uh, now what, uh, what I'm saying that, suppose these are the ports. Now, in the, we can say if I want to put it uh, 
this is the router so now in here is the serial link serial so mostly we can say if you want to connect different uh, routers together mostly we use serial cable serial ports to connect this i mean this port. this port. so mostly in here you can put the fast ethernet fast ethernet in here is also mostly fast ethernet like this okay so yeah here is we can say that these are the symbol of the routers these are the symbol of the routers which we can connect then we have types of memory types of memory so uh, uh, there are three types of memory we have four types we have ram nvram flash ram so four types of memory we have so now what is ram ram means like if power is off or power is reload reload means restart restart so it means if you have a, a router if it's going to suddenly power off or you're going to reload it the ram memory is going to be erased the ram memory is going to be erased what is inside of the ram what is inside of the ram inside of the ram is our running configurations or saving our running configuration or saving suppose uh, Anything I am typing now in the router, right now, anything which I am typing, that is called running configuration. Suppose I am typing anything on the router currently, that's called running config. And how to check this running config? I have to go to the router and type this command, show running config, show running config. So simple, run. It's a memory. If a power is off or reload, the RAM memory is erased. What is inside of the RAM? Our running configuration. What is running configuration? Running configuration means any commands which we are typing in the moment. That's called running configuration. And how to see that? What is inside the running configuration? I have to type show running config. Good. So now this part is that. Now what is NVRAM? NVRAM stands for non-volatile RAM. In here, if power is off or reload, still the content is there. It's not going to be erased. Suppose suddenly power is went out or cut off, but still the content is there. It is not going to be erased. It's not going to be erased. So what is inside the NVRAM? It is the backup of running configuration. Mostly it is the backup. So we are taking some backup configuration because ram is going to be erased so we need some backup configuration so now the backup configuration is in the ram in nvram so how we can see that inside of this we have to type show show startup config show startup config suppose look guys uh this is our router suppose this is our router when i am writing something in the router in the router so now if suddenly power off this my configuration is saving in the ram so ram is going to clean nothing is there nothing is there because if power is cut off it's going to be clear so now i want an another memory another memory that that's called nvda if this is going to be delete at least i should have the back i should have the backup now even if this is delete erase still i have this one the backup configuration <coughs> <coughs> sorry guys <coughs> okay then i have flash flash is also non-volatile it means if power is off or re reload it's not going to be erased what is inside the flash our ios is there the operating system of the router is there so simple guys look computer computers has operating system like windows 7 xp we can say linux unix ubuntu like this good and we can say that our router also has operating system 
that is called iOS, Internet Operating System. So this iOS is stored inside of the flash, inside of the flash. So what is flash? Flash is a memory. It is non-volatile. It means if we restart our power is off, it is still there. So what is inside of the flash? Our operating system are there. And how to check? I have to type this. If I want to check my inside of the flash, I have to type show flash. Show flash. <coughs> Good. Then the next one is ROM. ROM is also not erasable. It means it is not non-volatile. It means if power is went out, still the content is there. So what is the job of ROM? It brings the iOS from flash to the RAM. To the RAM. So suppose this is our router. This is our router. ROM, what it does? ROM brings the iOS, iOS from flash, from flash to the RAM. It put to the RAM. This is the job of RAM. And how to check show version? Show version, we can see the content of the ROM. The content of the ROM. So simple guys, types of memory, RAM, NVRAM, flash and ROM. Flash and ROM. Here is, the, if power is on off, it is there. What is inside and their job. And in here is how we should find out. I mean, how what we have to type that we can see what we have to type. So simple guys, let's move to the next what we have. <coughs> so I think we are over guys. We are over guys. So now come to the big review. So we studied what's the router, how a router look like. We studied, so this is the router look like. Then what's the router? It's a networking device operated networking layer the main difference uh, the main job is to join different networks and this is we can say that inside of the routers what we can see the types of memories cpus leds power supply like this and what types of ports console ports auxiliary ports serial ports and lan ports and types of memories ram nvram flash and ROM. So yeah guys, we are going to end up our class here and if you guys have any doubt, questions, suggestion, please kindly contact us. Till next class, all the best, take care and have a nice time. Bye.